This is Fox 6 News. Our big story on Fox 6 News at 11. Stomping for home state votes. Republican vice presidential candidate Paul Ryan is back in Wisconsin this morning, holding a town hall meeting with voters in Waukesha. Fox 6's Angelica Duria is live at Carroll College with more. Good morning, Angelica. Yeah, good morning, Bev. And that event wrapped up about an hour ago. Crews behind me now uh, tearing things down from what was a big production here, a packed house, an electrified crowd to welcome Paul Ryan this morning. Even the governor using the Packers loss, or Packers, excuse me, Packers win last night to uh, deliver an energized introduction. This is comeback time, and the Packers didn't let us down. And you know what? America needs to come back. And Governor Scott Walker and Ryan's brother Tobin set the tone of that entire event. They were comparing the Packers' comeback uh, to the Romney Ryan comeback team to bring America back on track. Now, this is Ryan's first stop to Wisconsin since that contentious vice presidential debate last Thursday. This also follows Vice President Joe Biden's trip to lacrosse on Friday. Now, today's event was town hall style. Paul Ryan speaking on the gymnasium floor with a crowd of about 1,500 people surrounding him. He spoke at length about the nation's rising debt. He pointed to the math on PowerPoint slides, and he also pointed to an electronic debt clock and stressed it will only get worse if there isn't changed in the White House. He says America can't afford another four more years of President Obama's policies. Ryan also took questions from the crowd. Around 10 people asked him questions about taxes, Medicare, and how to ensure that the next generation doesn't bear the debt burden. Now, in all those answers, he pointed out the failing leadership of the Obama administration. We have never knowingly given our kids an inferior standard of living, a diminished future, but that is exactly what we are doing by piling up this mountain of debt, by giving these deficits. And it takes leadership to confront this. That's what Mitt Romney and I are offering. We are not going to run away from these problems. We are going to run at these problems to solve these problems before they get out of our control. That's what leaders do. Now, now, of course, not everyone agrees with the Romney-Ryan vision for America. Obama for America's Heartland Tour will be making a stop here in Waukesha about an hour from now, and those protesters will obviously be um, touting their own economic policies and stressing how the Republican Party's economic policies will ultimately hurt the middle class by shifting the tax burden on that middle class. And that is the latest from Waukesha. Angelica Duria, Fox 6 News. All right, Angelica, thank you. The presidential campaign will continue to focus on...